Welcome to Naresh Technologies. I am Banga Raju and in this video, uh, we will demonstrate about collections. So, what are these uh, collections? See, first thing, uh, what is a collection means? The first important point to understand it is a dynamic array. What is this dynamic array? If you just came across the arrays uh, in any of the language like C language or C++ language or in C sharp language, you will understand about uh, this arrays or fixed length. What is it? Once an array is declared, we can never change the size of an array. Once an array is declared, we can never change the size of an array. Same, suppose I am going to declare an integer array like this. And once the array was declared like this, remember the size of this array can never be increased. If you want to increase the size of an array, what you require to do is you require to manually create a new array and copy the value. Suppose you want to make it 15. If at all you want to make it 15, um, what you require do two options are there. One, you can manually create a new array with a new size 15 and copy the old values into the new array. So, this is one option. Option number two, the array class. So, in the system namespace, there is a class called array. This array class provides us a method called as resize. By calling this resize method also, we can resize an array. So, it is possible to resize by calling the resize method. But remember, even though there is a method called resize to resize an array, what it does internally is it will destroy the old array and creates a new array. Means, what I said in the first approach, we can create a new array with a new size and copy the values or otherwise call the resize method. When I call the resize method, resize method is implicitly going to perform the same thing. It is going to create us a new array, copies the old values into the new one. That is what it does. So, if you just notice this, let us put in the visual studio, array dot the resize. If you notice this array dot resize, it takes two parameters. What are the two parameter? The first parameter is the array whose size has to be increased and remember that is an output parameter. We should pass it as a ref, ref. It is just like an output parameter. Okay. So, how to pass it? Ref arr comma and the new size. I want to increase to 15. So, what this is going to do is this is going to create a new array and going to destroy the old array for us. So, the new array will be created and afterward the old array will be destroyed. So, internally the size gets increased, but the mechanism what it has adopting is copying the old values into the new one and then destroying the old one. So, that is a process what is going to happen whenever you call the resize. So, the point to note is array size can never be increased, arrays are fixed length the never size can be increased. If you want to increase the size, the ultimately what you require to do is create a new one and copy the old values into the new one. Okay. And the second drawback with an array is, um, I have an array of uh, size 10 and some values present in this and I want to insert a value into the middle of an array. I want to insert a value into the middle of an array. It is never possible. You can never insert a value into the middle of an array. Suppose the array size is 10 now and I want to increase an element into the middle means compulsory the size of the array should increase, but that is not possible. So, we can never insert a value into the middle of an array. And third thing is we can never delete a value from the middle of an array. So, three things never possible with an array. What is it? Increasing the size. Second, inserting values into the middle and third deleting or removing values from the middle. These three are never possible with an array. So, to overcome this particular problem, we just depend on the collections and that is why I said you a collection is nothing but a dynamic array. Why? A collection also like an array is a capable of storing multiple values. A collection also like an array capable of storing multiple values, but has all these three functionalities of the features in it. One, increasing the size. It has a beautiful mechanism called as auto resizing. 
what is it the size of your array can automatically increment whenever we keep adding new values to it so whenever you add the values and there is a requirement the size will automatically grow that is called auto resizing and second thing is it is possible to insert values into the middle of a collection so we can insert a value into the middle of the collection and the third one is it is still possible to delete or remove values from the middle of a collection so collections are auto resizing and possible to insert values into the middle and possible to delete or remove values from the middle also all these functionalities are available for us in the collections okay fine now how these uh, collections came into picture is when microsoft introduced dotnet in the 1.0 framework only we have collections uh, but uh, there is a small difference about the collections what we have right now in the market and the collections that came in the 1.0 the collections which are introduced in the 1.0 are known as non generic collections uh, i'll explain you much more clearly what are these non generic collections in the next videos we'll talk about it these are all non generic collections and remember collections i'm just using the word collections not collection collections means there are so many so many collections available here and um, primarily we just have a collection called as a stack a queue a linked list a sorted list array list hash table so many collection classes are available to us and all these are going to be the collections only and remember all these are the classes uh, if you come across the stacks queues and all in our traditional languages like c or c++ we have a problem what is this stack is not available readily if you want to use a stack first you require to define a stack and then only you can consume same as the queue is not available directly first you require to define it and then consume it but when you come to dot net the advantage what you have is the stack queue linked list sorted list all these are implemented and given to us in the form of classes so right now if you notice all these are classes all these are classes and what we call them as collection classes and these classes are available or defined under a namespace called as system dot collections and remember these are all going to be non generic collections we'll talk more on the non generic collections in the later videos but right now remember these are non generic collections all this and one of the very important collection generally what we use in our applications is array list and generally is a very common question in interviews the difference between an array and array list the difference between an array and array list and if at all you are asked about the difference between an array or array list you can highlight these three things one what's it array fixed length it is fixed length and when you come to array list what's it it is variable length it is variable length that is the size is not fixed providing you a feature called as auto resizing so it's variable length next not possible to insert items we can insert items into the middle next not possible to delete items we can delete items from the middle so these are the three main differences what we come across the array and the array list okay so if at all you just work out with an array list this is a general question like the difference between array and array list and you can use this array list just like an array how do we use an array list is exactly same like an array you can watch if you want to use an array list in your code first thing we need to do is we need to import a namespace system dot collections the namespace is system dot collections we are going to import this namespace and after importing the namespace system dot collections we are just going to uh, create the instance of any collection class any collection class instance we can create and i am just demonstrating about the array list collection class array list al is equals to new array list and you say this 
implements an eye list interface using an array whose size is dynamically dynamically increased as required what is the eye list i'll explain about the appropriate thing in the next classes but implements the eye list interface using an array whose size is dynamically increased as required just concentrate on that whose the size is dynamically increased as required so the size keeps on increasing for us automatically and see understanding about this capacity of an array list listen array list has a beautiful feature called as auto resizing what is it auto resizing let me explain see if you want to store an item in the array list you have a method what is the method add the add method will add an item in the array list where it adds an object to the end of the array list it is going to add for you in the end so it works like an array we can use it by using the index position and you can add the element at the end and what it takes is object value so just understand object value you can store any type of value along with null also so i want to store a value 100 i want to store a value 100 so where is it stored it is stored for us in the first cell it is stored for us in the first cell so when i say first cell you'll have a doubt now how many cells are there so to understand about this particular thing we need to uh, understand about a property of this collections called capacity the capacity is a property which tells the number of items that can be stored under a collection okay if at all you watch about this array list console dot right line al dot capacity so it will talk about the capacity of this particular array list right now and you watch it If you just watch it, the capacity is showing as zero. But still, when I add an element into the array list, I did not get any error. Why I did not get any error? The reason behind this is when you insert an item or add an item to the array list, it will automatically resize itself. Watch. After adding the item, if you see the size of it, the capacity is going to be four. What is that? It is allocating the room for storing four items at a time. So it is not going to allocate the room for one one item at a time. Four items, and once these four items are filled, it will become eight, and eight becomes sixteen. Means it will double this capacity automatically. The capacity is going to be doubled automatically. You see now, L dot add. I am storing another value, two hundred. 300 400 so the capacity right now is 4 and now you have noticed it this is the first item and now i stored three more items so totally four so all the rooms are filled now so the capacity is 4 and you have stored all the four items so now if you check the capacity it will be 4 it will be 4 why there is a room for 4 and the number of items are stored are also 4 but if you try to store the fifth item here L dot add 500 and now if you check your capacity the capacity will be 8 now you can notice the capacity is going to be 8 now why the capacity is 8 because right now there is a room for 4 and up to here we stored 4 items and now you are storing the 5th item when you store the 5th item automatically the capacity of it will increase and this 8 will become 16 when you are adding the ninth item and 16 will become 32 when you are adding the 17th item like this it keeps on doubling the capacity for us so that is what we call auto resizing the speciality of this particular array list is it has a beautiful mechanism of auto resizing it can resize itself and there is no size limitation for it it keeps on resizing and see here we created an instance of the array list class by using a parameterless or a default constructor. But there is another constructor available here for which you can pass a parameter. What the parameter? Initial capacity. If I pass 10 here, so this 10 is taken as initial capacity. And if you run this, you notice it, the capacity is 10 always. Why it is 10? Because the initial capacity is 10 and you started storing one by one item and is a fifth item that's all 
and this 10 will become 20 when you are adding the 11th item. Now also it is the same behavior, it will become double. Only thing is if you do not specify the capacity starts with 0 and then it goes to 4 and doubles. But if you say your own initial capacity starts with the value and from there only it will double. Suppose if you get 2 here, you can see 2 became 4 and became 8, it becomes 16 the next time. So, like this the capacity will keep on incrementing for us in case of a collection, okay, fine. So, this is what we call auto resizing. Let me print these values here, how to print for each object obj in the name of our array list, console dot write, I am just trying to print all the values in the same line, obj plus just giving some space there all the values printed in the same line and you notice it is going to print you all the 5 values what do you have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 all the 5 values are printed for us here fine. Now uh, between 300 and 400 I want to insert an item what is that 350 can I insert yes I can insert a new item into the middle how to insert if you want to insert an item we are given with a method called as insert al dot insert. The insert method here it is going to take a parameter what are the parameter two parameters where to insert. Uh, I want to insert in the third place I want to insert in the third place. So oh sorry we have five items here. So, just after uh, 300 and 400 I just want to insert an item. So, fourth place, fourth place means index position is 3, index position is 3. So, 3 comma 350 and let us reprint these values again. If you want to reprint the values again, yeah you can notice it, it is inserting 350 between 300 and 400. Now, I want to remove the item 200 here, yeah. I want to remove the item 200, okay you can. If you want to remove an item, you have al dot remove, there is a remove method and by using the remove method you can remove. So, directly you can say 200 and remove, it removes that item there, reprint and now you will not find 200 in the list, remove or you can remove by using the index position also al dot remove at and tell the index position 200 is the second element means index is 1 now also it will remove the same thing only but two different ways how you can remove it now also it is removing the 200 so like this we have three additional benefits about a collection when compared with an array. The first one is auto resizing what I explained you here and the second thing is you can insert items in the middle and the third one is you can remove items from the middle. So, when you compare with an array a collection have these additional features. Thanks for watching the video. For more videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel Naresh IT.